is up, my boners? This is Mr. I Try Hard here, the nastiest commentator in all of motherfucking YouTube. How you guys been doing? I've been doing motherfucking fantastic, and today we have a gameplay of domination on the map. Slums for you guys, and this is the exact domination of, uh, definition of fighting for kills. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, of course, it's Sunday, which means we have the Vagina Chronicles, which also means we have the finest vagina in all the land, Kelly K-pop. How you doing? I'm doing great. How's everyone out there? <laughs> We're doing good, man. We missed last week's Vagina Chronicles because our, our like, different schedules, like, I was available early and Kelly was available late and we never met and it, we couldn't do it. Yeah, it, it was, was weird. Yeah, it was just a bad, bad timing. But no worries because we're back this week with a great topic. A great, uh, You know what? This is something we should have done a long time ago because with the new era of technology and stuff like that and, and couples, you know, need to understand how social networking works and how all these social sites work. We need to talk about this. Social sites and couples. It's it like it brings a lot of problems and a lot like you can interact a lot with your boyfriend slash girlfriend online and stuff like that, but yet again you could be interacting with others and there's the whole question of do you share that information with your loved one or do you keep that private? Is that yours or is that the property of your couples? What do you think? I personally think like you're not entitled to share um, what we're talking about is, like, if your girlfriend or boyfriend asked you for your password to, like, say your Facebook so that they can, like... They, basically, the only reason they would ever ask that is it so they can check up on you. Cause, yeah, yeah, they want to creep on your shit. Yeah, exactly, and I don't think that's fair, and I don't think that is um, healthy either. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, wait, so wait, wait, you think you're entitled to that trust, Yeah, right? I I mean, what's that, that's just weird, it's... It's stupid. I, I don't know why anyone would want to do that. It's What about... And they're going to make a big deal out of anything. Like, have you ever... I don't know. It's I think it's in movies or TV all the time where there's, like, a girl or a guy who, who does that whole thing. They, they ask for the password or they just go on there without any their uh, partner knowing at all. They just, like, maybe their partner leaves it open. And then they, like, go in their private messages and they see some message from some random... Uh, chick say and it's maybe it's a little flirty or, or maybe it's like yep. you're being extra nice to this one person and they yell at the partner and then it turns out that that's like their family relation <laughs> and they were just like being nice you know no but you're right though you're right and it's like you can extrapolate if you if you weren't there in the conversation or if something happened like a long time ago like for instance like Personal Facebook, like, keeps messages for, like, a long, long, long-ass time. Like, you can have messages from your ex-girlfriends or ex-boyfriends that, that dated, like, years and years ago, even before you actually met this other person who now has access to this. And, and they're looking at this, and they want to, like, dive into your past and delve into, like, all this other relationships you had and all these other stuff. Like, do you really need to subject yourself? Like, if... I have this thing that if you look into anybody's... Like, everybody in the world, if you look at their... All, all of their interactions with people from the opposite sex, you're, you're going to find something on everybody if you really want to. And it's just like one of those things where do you really want to like su subject yourself, uh, yourself to that shit or do you just want to, you know, understand that, you know, sometimes shit happens or, or maybe sometimes um, people can interpret different things differently. Like some people are super nice. Some people are super cuddly. Some people are, are, are different and stuff like that. And you need to create that border sometimes. But uh, I mean, I think for the most part, you should keep that stuff to yourself. And that, that, that stuff should not be shared. And I think furthermore, your phones are something that should be kept to you. Like it should be locked. It should be yours. And at least I, like, I know personally, I don't share my phone with anybody. Like I don't care who you are. I'm not, I'm not sharing that shit. Yeah, I think it's just, like, expected that if you're in a relationship, say you are fucking around on Facebook or whatever, that you would tell your partner eventually or break it up with them um, because the relationship obviously isn't going to be... I, I don't know. It just feels like... But, like, even, even if you have nothing to hide, like, it's not about... It's not about, like, because it, like, people are going to say, oh, Mr. Jari doesn't share his phone, he's got something to hide. No, that's not the point. It's just, why do you need to go look through my shit? Like, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share something with you that, like, if I feel like I need to, like, if I feel like there's something I want to share because it's, like, I don't know, information that we need to get together, like, yeah, that, I, I, that's fine, but I'm not sharing you all my, like, I have, I have pictures on my phone that, like, date from, like, when I first bought my phone, like, like four, five, six years ago, like, these are old, like, high school memories or, like, you know, old friends, old buddies, like, 
uh, why why would I need to share like if if like if I need to show you that I'll show it to you but uh, no like it's like for the most part like my phone's locked and I got some pictures that are like triple locked and shit like that like I'm not I'm not sharing any of that shit like it's it's my stuff I don't like I, and furthermore like anybody who even wants to get with somebody and ask for that shit like I don't you, you I, I don't think you're ready for a relationship if you're doing that. If you're going out there and asking for oh, that. Oh, definitely not. Like, <laughs> I, I think it's just offensive. Like, I, for one, I don't really, I don't have anything bad on my phone. But if someone were to come, like, if my partner was to come to me and be like, I want to see your phone now, how offensive is that to you? Like, exactly. they think you're a scumbag. How would you react? Would you, would you be like, just, well, fuck you? Like, no, I'm not. Like, I, like, uh, even if they. Like, maybe if they had, like, a, a, a legitimate reason. Like, oh, this person said that. I think there's something there that I need to, needs to be checked. And, and even more, like, shouldn't shouldn't you be the person who they trust the most? Like, shouldn't they not be, like, swayed by all these, like, other people saying shit? Like, you should be, like, that person who's the most trustworthy out there, I think. I, I don't I don't see the point in fucking... Oh. It, it, it seriously angers me, trust issues and shit like that. It seriously fucking It, me it seems like a high school relationship problem. I know I had a lot of high school friends who were just in horrible relationships where that themselves and the guy were, like, constantly checking up on each other, like, to a ridiculous extent to the point, like... One night, me and my, uh, me and two of my girlfriends were, we were just having like a small little party together. And it was just three girls. And this girl's boyfriend, he called her 30 times. Like her phone oh in an hour God. span said 30 missed calls. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. You need to like work that shit out. That's uh, weird. I had, I had a bro who, uh, whenever we left from hockey game, we, we had a 20 minute drive back home. She would call right when the game ended, his uh, his girl, and she would call every five minutes as we drove back home. And his answer would always be the same. He'd, he'd be like, well, I'm five minutes closer than I was earlier. And she'd be like, okay. That's exactly and that how was- this relationship was that my friend had. Like, they were constantly, both of them, checking up on each other. And that's not healthy. And it, it's uh, almost an ab- it's a It is an abusive relationship to take shit like that from someone. You shouldn't be in a relationship like that. If someone's constantly checking up on you, exactly. you're not a child. Don't, you don't I need think to be checked up on. Those people need to be working on themselves. Like those people need to like I don't know work on their personal self esteem issues, their personal confidence, self worth, all those things. Get that shit back up on par, and then you know then they'll be ready to be in a healthy you know long lasting relationship where they can actually be trustworthy. Yeah, because it's trustful. It's usually their own insecurities like worrying them that they their partner might be talking to someone else. Exactly. And then whereas if they're confident then they're like, hell no, I'm the best. <laughs> Don't be jelly, man. That's the lesson for today. Exactly. <laughs> anyways, Don't be that person. You- I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Mr. Tryhard Harding and Kelly. Kelly's link down below for you guys. If you liked her, go check her out. She does some great shit. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit the Jesus in my motherfucking pants button in the comment section down below. Give us topics for next week's Vagina Chronicles. Hope you enjoyed Mr. Tryhard Harding K-pop. Bye. Bye. Bye.